we will all offer the prayer of meditation. God who gives all things, may we become sons to receive all things according to your word. We believe that we will receive help at dawn. Help us to confess our most, our biggest difficulties so that our problems become answers. May there be new light on our families and with that hope may we live with thanksgiving. May this be a dawn where we entrust everything to you. May we be powerless so that we live as righteous men and receive guidance. We believe that how, depending on our hearts, our lives will change. In Jesus' name we thank you and bless. Amen. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Let's find that. It's so strange. You say that you've repented. But how, how is it that you've washed that you still have so much dirt? If you have washed your clothes properly, you shouldn't have any stains. If you've repented, your faces wouldn't be like that. Last night, someone asked me, Pastor, do you come out at dawn? I don't know. That's the right answer. Oh, I'm coming out tomorrow. That's someone who's living as a demon. That's not the sight of God. If God calls me in the middle of the night and takes takes my life, we don't even know. One hour ahead of us, Proverbs chapter 27, verse 1, James chapter 4, verse 14. What are our lives? We don't know anything in front of us. But some people say, oh, I will do this tomorrow. Yes, you can have your heart planning to do that and praying about it. But if you say, I'm doing this, you're very far from God. You have to be completely powerless. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29. I don't know anything. I can't do anything. That is who I am. If I do something by my strength, then I will be ruined. You look at people who don't do well. Their families don't do well. They do things by their strength. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 9. Please do not do things by your strength. Then what should you do? Well, that's the problem. A car that that no one drives will will crash into something. So we need a driver. That driver is the Trinity. Where is God inside of Christ? So we all we have to do is is receive Christ. But we don't know this basic thing. So I keep praying, God, why is it that our church members? So people come from Seoul to do four step repentance and so they end up getting a house why is it that we're sitting here daily together and they're suffering not receiving anything there's something so wrong crooked you need to lower yourself if you lower yourself then already your life is different no matter how much we p I pray the difference between someone who does well and doesn't do well. What is it? Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Let's read it together. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Amen. Let's stop lying. So what did God do in the beginning? If he created the heavens and the earth, does that mean he didn't create us? Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 he created everything so God he created everything but you don't believe this if you did then you would be at the lowest place if you know 
the master who has created you, you would be at the lowest place. Where is God? So when God created the universe, was he by himself or was he with Christ? This is why you're a liar. If God created me, if he tells us to entrust everything, that's what we need to do. Who is it that helps at, us at dawn? The one who created all of the universe, the one who created me. So if he is helping us at dawn, if we want to receive that help, can we meet God directly? No, we have to go inside of Christ. Not inside of Jesus, but Christ. Let's find Colossians chapter 1 verse 14. So because you can't do even this thing properly, this one thing properly, if you did do this properly, if you are receiving a prison sentence or the death penalty and just say you escape from it, then by whose, whose grace are you living? The person who saved you. Can, you. can you forget that? No, every time you see that person, your head bows down. But do you live like that? So this is the difference between someone who does well and doesn't do well. You just you just walk around with your head up, your actions. You do whatever you please. And then on top of that, you grumble and complain. And that's why you go the way of ruin. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. If you grumble, God will kill you directly. So the person who's grumbling, they have so many reasons why they're grumbling. This person's, you know, so wicked and you know they haven't shared anything with me so yes there are many reasons to grumble but God says he will kill you what what what's this meaning you know you may say if you were in my situation you would grumble too but God says I will kill you oh you know he he spends all his salary on on drinking and gambling you know we're starving but God says if you grumble he will kill you what does this mean God is just. God is love. God is forgiveness. God is blesses us. And yet, so and you say, I've been married 40 years, but he's never brought his salary to me. And he goes and he has affairs. Who who wouldn't grumble? But God says he will kill you. What does this mean? It's because your ancestors have done that. Your ancestors have planted those filthy things and caused other families, their children, to receive those filthy things. So now the order has been reversed. Now it's your turn to receive and another person to do it to you. So can you grumble after you realize this? It's what my father, my grandfather has done. Can you curse them then? And that's all come down to me. Because you can't realize this. That's why you look at the black face in the mirror and you keep trying to crack it with a, with a smash it with a hammer. But you can't get rid of that mirror. God keeps making it come up again. So if you keep smashing your own face, if you knew it was your own face, you wouldn't smash it. That's why God says, realize, realize. What kind of person am I? Oh, I can't escape from my destiny. Five years, ten years ago. Oh, I, I've believed for 50 years. Stop saying that. Change. Don't say, oh, I've believed for 50 years when your face is filthy. Wash and change. Who is it that has created you? So this is why you don't do well. On our side, it's always through Christ. So, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, God created the universe, He created me. But, my, my position is Colossians chapter 1 verse 14. So, inside of the Son, the Son, who is the Son? It is Christ. So, in, in the Son, we, meaning all of us, we have redemption, which is the forgiveness of sins. 
So it's not me, but it's by the blood of Christ that we receive forgiveness of sins through four-step repentance, Nehemiah, chapter 8, chapter 9. So we have received this. 15. He is the image of the invisible God. So when God breathed life into our nose, the Holy Spirit, that image is Christ. So Christ is the image of God. So he is the firstborn of all creation. So Christ was existed even before we did. Isn't this our men? So verse 16, for by him all things were created. So who is it that created? Christ created me. If you wanted to make them president, you couldn't. Why? Because there are stages that you have to pass through. If you want to meet the president of a company, you cannot meet him directly. You have to go through each promotion. So when we say that God created us in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, you have to know that it's Christ who created us. So on my side, it's Christ who has created us. That's what it says here. But because you omit this and you want to go straight to God, this is the wrong heart. This is why we don't do well. The, it is true that God helps us at dawn. But the one who's created me, the one who gives me blessings is Christ. So only someone inside of Christ. So if you are inside of Christ, Christ our creator, what is it that he hasn't given us? But why is it that you sit there, your face being someone who hasn't received anything? God says he's created everything. So who is the liar? Is Christ God, a Christ and God the liar? No, I am the liar. So you sit there with a face saying, I haven't received anything. God says he's created all of, of the world to give to me. If you read Genesis chapter 1 and 2, he's given it all to us. But you sit there saying, I haven't received anything. Your face is grey and ashen. And you're saying, when are you going to give it? So who is the liar? I am the liar. This is why you don't receive. So if you truly have faith without doubting as a gift, Mark chapter 11 verse 23, if you have received without doubting, if you have truly done forced repentance properly, where you've received Christ, the gift of faith, then you need to be believing that you have received. Because God, He has given. And so that's why the whole world is yours. If you, ha if you have that, then where are you? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 23. Let's find that. Why is it that you can't have this heart? because you are so filled with greed. It's like a monkey at a zoo. If there is a glass in a um, if there's a glass jar with an apple inside, the monkey will try to will hold on to the apple. But because the apple is big, he cannot take his hand out of the jar. All he would have to do is let go of the apple. So, but because, just like a monkey, that holding on to that greed, because of that one apple, you cannot release your life. That's how they catch monkeys. Inside a glass jar, you put an apple. So a monkey, and then you tie up that jar to a chain that monkey because they can't let go, let go of the apple if you hold on to something in your heart whatever problem you have in your family that's what you're holding on to whether it be your eldest child or your youngest child or a gold ring or oh that 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 ring that 
my mother left behind when she died. Oh, my my brother took it or my sister took it. And so because of that, you have that that unforgiveness. And like a monkey, you don't let go of that. So you know people who don't do well? Just like a monkey, they're holding on to something. And that's why they can't receive everything instead. And that's why they ruin their life and they're not receiving help at dawn. So you look at that person's face, they're holding on to something. And after you talk to them, so they cover layer upon layer, but when you listen to their story, if you, if they, if you let them talk freely, they've covered so many layers but after all those layers are taken off in the end oh my mother-in-law this is what she did when she died when my mother died this is what happened so whether it be some bank account or or a house they think that that is something so grand oh my hus my father is so rich he's got a 44 story building that 44 story building when you compare it to the world is a is a grain of sand and so you know he died and and then you talk about how you know his will and how um and as a child oh don't have anything to do with your uncle because you know he didn't give us one penny so don't have anything to do with them today you need to rele be released from that if you wash that with the blood of Christ you shouldn't have a past inside of Christ it's a new start so there should be nothing remaining let's say to get together a new start so even as we say that the way you say it let's let's let it go let's say to the person next to us let it go who is it that created me Christ so on my side it's Christ it's written here so the blood of Christ even now forgives our sins so even now we can do well even though our ancestors lived wrongly inside of Christ we can receive all things if we have that heart that's what God will do but because of the heredity that you receive from your parents you have that unforgiveness that's been passed down 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 18 and then we're so smart when it comes to remembering the bad things you know Eldress you're even now you can see your the the problems of the fighting about wealth with your mother-in-law and oh someone was given this and someone was given that you remember it so clearly as if watching a movie why why ruin your life because of that why ruin your life because of an apple you have to let go but I'm worried that you'll just pick it up again so let's hold up our two hands and now we are shaking off everything in our life with four step repentance it's a new start every dawn he helps us so in other words he'll help us the whole day let's now say let's not say let's let's go let go let's say let's throw it all away don't just do don't just move your hands we have to wash it with the, our blood of Christ if I tell you to do this you forget that and then you hold on to this So let's throw it all away. There is no past. So now you're smiling. I wish I wish I could take a photo of this. Just before you were like this. What if, what have I received? Oh, everyone else has eaten but me. But now you're starting to smile. But those people who are educated, who 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 have their manners and etiquette, 
they smile like a, an old person. If you're not like a child, you cannot go to heaven. Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. You know, if a child smiles, they don't smile. Tight-lipped, you know, open wide. Some adults say, when you smile, you shouldn't show your teeth because that's, that's, you know, not good manners. So then some people, in the, you know, just before they laugh, they actually search their bag to find a handkerchief to cover their mouth. No, just open wide and and smile let's say to the person next to us have a good look at the person next to you and show your teeth and smile like a child let's live joyfully let's receive everything that the father gives us who is it that created us Christ so if we wash by the blood of Christ then if he enters inside of me the Creator, He brings all blessings. So all our desires will be fulfilled. So every dawn by the blood of Christ. So if you have a problem, if you're not being released, that means my Creator, my Helper hasn't entered inside of me. Why? Because sin is blocking what Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 to 2. So we have to wash by the blood of Christ. Let's be victorious. This morning, my wife won't rebuke me because she says, only preach for 20 minutes so that there's time to pray. So I've done exactly 20 minutes. Let's all pray. Let's wash by the blood of Christ. So if we keep cleansing by the blood of Christ, we don't smile tight-lipped. We don't... We can freely smile. If you smile truly like a child, that is good. If there's a little baby lying down, still wetting their pants, covering their mouth as they smile, how disgusting is that? You know, if there's a baby who's still soiling their pants, lying down, and they're trying to cover their hand as they smile, you know, when I see people like that, it's, it's so disgusting. Let's be like ch children. You, you did that too. Look at the way that person said, Amen. Before, you weren't smiling. Now, why are you smiling? Let's receive. What is it that I won't give you? I've created everything and given it to you. When you do four-step repentance, I'll enter inside of you. So if the Creator comes inside of us, does He leave everything behind? No, He brings all His creation. So 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21 to 23, when you say the whole world is mine, that's when Christ is inside of me. Because Christ belongs to God, as long as I'm connected with Christ, then I become, I belong to God. That's when, it's only when you say the whole world is mine. So Christ, he comes inside of us to give us all things. So we have to believe that we have received all things. That's when that it that's when that word will have workings. If everyone is able to um throw the basketball into the hoop every single time, then we wouldn't have those sports people that's why we have to train in the in godliness when we do four step repentance Christ enters inside of us then we receive everything that God that God has made as long as we practice riding a bike he'll give it to us but you sit there saying why have I, why haven't I received a bicycle and then you say well I'm saving up to buy a tricycle you know, if you're wearing a suit and you're you're riding your tricycle along the street, you know, wearing your necktie, it doesn't it doesn't suit. God has given us all things. It's just that you don't know how to ride yet. You don't know how to take care of your wealth yet. You don't know how to use the blessings He gives you. As long as we do know, then He'll give it to us. Let's close our eyes quietly. Lord. 
Christ has created me. We thought that Christ couldn't create, but after we realized this morning, it's Christ who has created me. It's Christ who has created the world. Christ is the image of the invisible God. So when we do forced step repentance, we now realize that He enters, God enters inside of me. It's God who gives and takes away, who gives life, life and blessings and takes away. So if we do four step repentance properly, then the image of God, Christ, comes inside of me and He gives me money, He takes it away, He makes, lifts me up, He, He puts me down, He makes me live, He makes me die. We believe He does all things. We believe that He will give all things to our children. So help us to receive and be patriots to our country. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. <laughs>